Hi, and welcome back to another Catch Up With Me video, you guys. Please make sure you look at today's car conversation. I'm not sure if it's above or below this video, but make sure you check that out. So listen, I have another Catch Up With Me. I have a few things I'm gonna share with you, and I'm gonna bid you good day. So first on my list is I ordered me a new pair, a cute little pair of scissors, you guys, because I have what I like to call my planner bag. And what that is, is I have certain pens that I typically use when I'm writing in my planner, as well as highlighters. Now, I have like three different cases of highlighters, but the ones that I use the most are the ones that I use in my planner. So these scissors that I bought, they came in the mail yesterday. I ordered them from Amazon. They came in the mail yesterday and they are so cute. Look at this, you guys, look how small they are. But look at when I take them out the, and I love this little case. You take them out the case, bam, look at that. Isn't that cute? Oh my goodness. Hold on, let me make sure you can see it. Isn't that cute, y'all? Look at that. So, so cute. And guess what? They are sharp. They are very sharp. So I will use these when I'm working in my planner and I'm putting down stickers. And sometimes you put the sticker on the edge of the paper and you need something to cut. Now, granted, I do have a big pair of scissors, but these are perfect when I need to get in those tight little spaces and cut off stickers in my planner like i said they have this cute little case that it comes in love 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 that and oh i'm back in the gym yes indeed yes ma'am yes sir i am back in the gym i went today now let me say this i have not been to the gym in about a month and a half but it's okay because you know what i was just telling my bestie today sometimes it's not always how you start that determines where you're gonna go. It's how you end. So no, I did not go to the gym at all this month, but I went today, the last day in the month of September. And that's all that matters. Now today was leg day. I did legs and then I did 40 minutes of cardio. So I burned a little over 600 calories for the day and I'll take it. Now I won't lie, my, body, my legs, oh my goodness, they hurt. So I had to come home shower and then pull out my um bio freeze which is a little strong but it's all right because it works now i have to i do it like every couple of hours because like i said my legs are throbbing but it's gonna be all right but the, the whole workout just felt good it felt good being back in the gym so i'm just saying y'all get back in there <laughs> And today starts my meal prep day. I decided I'm going back to doing my meal preps. And for right now, I'm just gonna do it for my lunch because as you know, I work from home. So I'm just gonna do my meal preps. I'm sorry, for dinner, because very rarely do I eat lunch, but I will be doing my meal preps as I finish up this video. I have two more to do, and then I need to run to Home Depot when I come back. I'm, I'm gonna put my mixed vegetables and I have a piece of Salisbury steak only because I wanted some baked fish. Only I went to the freezer and there is none. So, you know, it is what it is. So uh, that that's what I'm gonna have to have for tonight. And tomorrow I will go to the grocery store and pick up some baked fish because that's what I really wanted with my frozen vegetables. And the reason why, Excuse me. Oh, I have to go tomorrow is because on Tuesdays I can go to Wise and get my mom's, use my mom's senior discount. And on Thursdays I can go to Wise and use her military discount. So I'll be going to the grocery store tomorrow. And uh, tomorrow is the weigh in day. If you know me, then you know I weigh in the first of every month. So tomorrow is the 1st of October. So I will be getting up in the morning after I use the restroom. You know, you gotta clear out your system. I get on that scale and let's see what it says. Now I have tried, I've tried to eat pretty well this month. I, I've had some days where I kind of fell off, but it is what it is. And I just decided that I'm not gonna worry about September because September is over. All I'm going to do is pick up from October the 1st and go forward, okay? And tomorrow is, oh, tomorrow starts the fourth quarter of the year. And I want you to end it all. I want you all to end it on a strong note, you guys. I need you to do that for me. I really, really do. I am big on ending the fourth quarter strong. So what I've decided to do for me, and I'm not, I'm, not, excuse me, I'm not saying you have to do it, but I'm saying for me, I have decided that I'm going to 
go through my vision book that I forgot to do the video to show you all. So I'll get that done before uh, before the month is out. But I'm going to go through my vision book and I'm going to look to see what things I put in there that I no longer need or no longer want to do. And I can cross those things off, excuse me, Ooh. or the things that I've completed, I can put a check mark by. And then I need to see which things I have not done to determine if I'm interested in still doing them. And if so, figure out what steps I need to take to get them done, okay? So that is my plan. So I'm working on that. And what else? What else? Oh, my stomach is growling, y'all, excuse me. And then just, just looking at, like I said, over the next, in terms of planning, just looking over the next three months, trying to figure out the things I need to get done month by month because i will end this year on a positive note okay now last thing that i want to share with you all and i promise i'll let you be y'all i have a song that i'm loving and it's called change in your name by i think the young lady's name is nori n-o-u-r-i i think that's how you pronounce her name but i am loving that song i forgot it i had it in my playlist and i was listening to it earlier and i'm not even gonna lie to you that song kind of brought a tear to my eye it's a worship song but it, it, it did it, it kind of brought a tear to my eye because I think about how good God is let me let me say this how good God has been how good God is but also how good he will be that's a powerful thing but I just wanted to share the words of that song and it's and she says you give me purpose and make it all worth it when I give up, you lift me up. It's always enough. You are the reason that I'm still breathing, no matter the season. I'm burnt or I'm bleeding. I'm always enough. So I want to change, change in your name. Oh, I want to change. Through all, my, through all my mistakes, you love me the same way. Oh, I don't deserve you. Never desert you. You are the one. To you I surrender. I'll be your defender because you give me life, so I give you mine. It's yours to define, so I want to change. Change in your name. I want to change. Fill me up with your fire. Take me up higher and higher. Anything you require, I want to change. Give me all your glory. I'm here at your mercy. I'll never be worthy. I want to change. Fill me up with your fire. Take me higher and higher. Anything you require, I want to change. Give me all your glory. I'm here at your mercy. I will never be worthy. I want to change. I want to change, change in your name. And then she ends it by saying, I want to change, change in your name. You know, when I listened to that song, I said the whole song is moving but the part that really pulls at my heartstrings is when she says through all my mistakes you love me the same way mm. y'all i'm sorry I, i'm getting a little emotional because it just makes me think about how we go through life and none of us are perfect we all make mistakes we, we don't do the right thing. We don't say the right thing. And we know that God is watching us. And yet we do the things that we do. But even though we're not perfect people and we make mistakes, God still sees fit to be there for us. God still sees fit to bless us even when we don't deserve it. That's why every morning when I get up and have my morning meditation, I always say, Lord, I thank you. I thank you for blessing me in spite of me. I thank you for blessing me even when I didn't deserve it. I thank you for your mercies and your blessings, which are new every day. And we don't deserve them most of the time. If God really sat and, and read the script, which he will one day, but not right now, but if he read the script of our lives and he said, well, now I can't bless you because you said ABC XYZ on this date. You did ABC XYZ on that date. So because of that, I can't bless you and I can't extend mercy to you. Do you know how horrible that would be? So now that I have myself back together, 
I just want to ask you to really think about changing, not in your name, not in my name, but in God's name, because he's the one that loves us regardless of us. You know, sometimes people cut you off when you start acting a fool. God doesn't. God loves us in spite of us. He knows your deepest secrets, secrets that nobody else knows about you. And yet he still loves you. God, he, he pours his blessings and, and mercies down upon us, even when we don't deserve it. Do you know how powerful that is? Because man's not going to do that. If you don't deserve it, they will cut you off, man or woman, doesn't matter. But not God. God will still see fit to give you what you need and do the things for you that, that you need done. So y'all, that's it. I'm done. I just wanted to share that quick catch up with me video for you. I love you all so very much. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please make sure you do so. I love you all. Come back again on Wednesday. We'll have another car conversation for you. Until then, take care.